Ah. Oh, and by the way, YouTubers, if you ever get a power washer, do not start it up unless the hose is hooked into it and the water is on, because you'll burn it up. Like I did. Uh, see, the, this was that power washer that I had out front earlier doing the coils on the refrigerator thing. But this hose belongs hooked in it and on. If you get one of these and you, uh, you turn it on, you crank up the motor, and this goes for if you got an electric model too and you don't have the water hooked up and on you will burn up the pump it's not meant to run without the water on it's a centrifugal pump it steps steps up your water pressure a little bit sends it through little tiny passages and then sends it out through this nozzle thing that's got a really tiny hole and it's just like Whoa! Anyway, that's my advice for you today. As for the, as for the uh, refrigerator, uh, now this stuff here, pump defender, it's like a lubricant. You screw it into the the water inlet on the on the power washer here and this is a really a must-have it lubricates uh, the seals and stuff inside the pump okay I've got it screwed on I'm gonna give it a little shot alrighty and it's good to uh, circulate it around a little bit you don't want to start it up I've not got the water on hooked up <laughs> okay you see uh, I've got a, a bad seal in my trigger handle here that actually causes this power washer to run uh, not at full efficiency and that white stuff down there that's the lubricant that's draining out uh, and what you need to do now is engage the trigger and make sure there's you get a steady flow oh, see what's it's doing right there it's kicking water bubbles out you can't have any water bubbles that'll burn up the pump too so I'm I'm, I'm getting a rid of all the air bubbles getting them voided out of the system right now and then I'll be messing around with this here it's a front grill to the refrigerator down there on the bottom somebody must have not had a, a uh, exhaust hood on their stove because this thing's all greasy and I'm gonna power wash it off and then do a little bit of the deck up here I didn't finish the deck last year the cold weather caught me up here on the upper portion okay these power washers by the way they got a pretty big gas tank on them and boy do they suck the gas you wouldn't think so, but that's hard work the way it keeps pushing all that water through. It's about the same as like if you let the lawn get really high and, uh, and you have to like practically bush hog with a mower and you really put a drain on your engine there. That's these power washers, they run like that all the time. When you engage the switch, it really pulls that engine down. It, it, they really work hard. This is a 6.75 horsepower. Uh, I forget if it's a Briggs and Strat, and I think it is. Anyway, that's rock and roll.
man. It would take forever to power wash this deck the way that that water's coming out of that handle. I gotta go to Sears and get the O-ring seal replacement kit for it. You see that thing's it blows pretty hard. Well, okay. That's that's all I got to do. 